Welcome back to Factorial. This is Ryan from Tangerine Music Labs. Um, if you are following me on Twitch, you might have noticed that I've been messing around a lot with uh, some of the music stuff that I've been working on, but uh, it's getting very close to getting working. And uh, it was a lot more... It's a lot Live streaming is a lot harder than I thought it was. Uh, I gotta give it to the people who have been doing this for a while. It's um, not easy. But it's getting really close, so I think, um, yeah, in the near future, there'll be... Basically, the plan is that I'm gonna be playing music, uh, for maybe half an hour to an hour, and then after that, uh, I'll be doing a Let's Play on something. Uh, right now, it's Factorio, so... Uh, yeah, let's all... Uh, this is a Let's Play, so let's get on it. Um, okay, so last time... We kind of, uh... Huh, is this working? Okay, well anyway, um... Yeah, so last time we kind of made a decision that we're gonna use this buffer thing to control... These are connected to the logistic networks, and then we're gonna control the inputs, like from here, for example. If there's less than 2k tin plate, this will work, otherwise it'll stop. And then, um, basically, you know, we're going to kind of try to measure what's in the factory overall in kind of an overall sense. And then we're going to do it by sampling what's on the belt here. So, you know, I think a lot of people are not going to like this solution because it's not precise. But, um... Yeah, I think this will work rather than trying to micromanage every single um, item type, you know? I think I really don't want to have to go f through every single thing connected up to a circuit network and, you know, connect it that way. So I think in the long run, this solution probably is going to work better. Um... So, right, so well, let's see if it'll actually work. Now, uh, I do have this set so that it'll um, place down... Yeah, actually, I want... There are certain things that you want always going, so... For example... I'm gonna have this pool both iron and copper out of it. And then... Yeah, this too, probably. Shoot, I don't have any. So, in the uh, rest of the game, this is going to be, like, super important. For us, uh, because uh, basically, whatever is in this chest is going to control the inputs from the um, source. So, like here, where it's you know the bobmonium input here, the ruby ru ruby ruby tite. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ruby tite. I guess ruby. Yeah, ruby. No, it's ruby. <laughs> Ruby T E, right? R U B Y T E. Ruby Rubite. Oh, Rub. Uh. Okay, never mind. No, that makes sense. And then we have here uh, this thing connected as well. Set to less than 4K. So if there's less than 4K uh, iron, then it'll give us more iron. If not, it'll stop, and hopefully that will keep the belts clean. Um, we have to adjust the numbers and such, because we don't know what they mean yet, but... Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, we also have this thing here. Yeah, we have just a ton of buffers, and... They're all doing something. Most of it good, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is getting backed up already. Let's, uh, get this faster.
Mm, tad bit better. I want to make this thing really, really like good because it's going because it's going to control everything, basically. Now I was wondering, like, you know, why, why make, why am I obsessed with making the factory in this way? You know, like I don't have to do this circle thing, you know, and there's lots of easier ways to do it, but I think I realized that the main reason why I like it, because it's kind of like, this is how you solve problems in the real world, you know? Like, it'd be nice if we knew, like, uh, like first of all, the, um, the way you normally play the game is very expansionist, right? Like, you have, you mine here, you make a, um, smelting area, then you make a belt, and you just expand everywhere, but, um, you know, that's not really how, you can't really do that in real life, because people live places, and, you, and, uh, you now I can't just go to over to someone's base and kill them and take their stuff, and, <laughs> so, I feel like this is more closer to, you know, solving problems in the real world, because it involves sampling, making most use of what you have, and, uh, you know, uh, you can't just produce a lot of crap. I mean, you know, you can, but, um, what do you do with the excess, right? So here we're using everything that we're making pretty much. So, all right, uh, just rambling on while I was crafting things. Now let's... Hmm. Great, as soon as I build it, it ran out and I don't know if it... <laughs> Uh, okay. So yeah, you know, like, you would do this kind of thing in real life, because there's no way, you know, we're not omnip omnip omnipotent, so we can't really know what's on the belt. But we can sample it, kind of get, make a guess of what's in the network, and then, you know, try to adjust our strategy accordingly. So, I think that's the appeal, you know, at least for me. Uh, let's put that down there. So these two will make sure that the iron and stuff is in. And then uh, these will just place things down randomly. Uh, should... What am I doing? This is the... This is not even... <laughs> Did I even do anything? Yeah. Yeah, talking, talking, and... um. Playing is hard. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. Ah, uh, okay. So. Well, we'll see how that goes. Now, we got to the point. We made this crazy... <laughs> Uh, layout, you know, kind of exploiting the, um, uh, inserter adjustment thing. So we got it all crammed into here in one place, and, you know, inserters are pointing every which way, diagonally, up and down, and sometimes backwards. I don't know about backwards, but... So this should be producing soon, but we do need uh, integrated electronics, and we're short on that because why? Tin copper wire. Well, it is here. Does this also need? Oh. Yeah, it's a, it, oh man, it's so confusing. So this thing is actually pointing here, not here. Uh, this thing is going right and then up. It's 
it's kind of funny, but also hard to keep track of. Okay, I'm just gonna use a regular inserter, a long-handed inserter here. Solder, okay. You know, since it's so messy, I'm just going to make it worse. And then I'm not going to... There's like no way I can... <laughs> Imagine if I do a tour of this factory. Well, you know. Oh, this goes here and then this goes diagonally up here. This, like this one points here actually, not here. Uh... Yeah, it's kind of I don't know these inserters. They they have um, a lot of potential for making interesting factory layouts. Uh, okay, you are here, I think. Oh no, it's the opposite. All right, we got these uh, fancy tent circuits now. That's good. Um, should probably store it up. Mm, or put on the belt. Now start for now. Not really quite sure what we're gonna do with it yet. I know we're gonna need it. But six, six wow. Probably because we're short on iron. Hmm. Player in their tone. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here. Nice thing about this, I can put my excess into the buffer. And then pick things up from the buffer if I'm short. Uh, huh. Actually, here I should make another one for the inner, inner buffer thing. So let's do that. I'm pretty sure I'm like at least 60% sure that what I'm doing makes sense. So... I hope I hope that's good enough for you. I mean, it's good good enough for me. <laughs> if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you, maybe. Uh, okay, so you go. Oh, we're still using the super duper slow belts, but maybe that's necessary. I'm not sure. Uh, actually, give me back those. Soder plates, please. Okay, so the rule of thumb is that the outputs of a buffer need to be slower than the inputs, which is not the case right now. So this 
these this is about as fast as a fast splitter I believe yeah I need to go back to my Okay, this will be a wooden chest, actually. Just for additional input, this will not get counted. So not get counted in the logistic network. Uh, and then... Another one of these. These need to be counted because of... Okay. No. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay, two. These are three times as fast as the regular ones, so... Three, six, seven, eight. Uh, assuming this is as fast as the fast inserter... Okay, so this is seven. Three, three, seven, seven versus eight. So it should be good. And this is three, this is one. So three to one. Mm, okay. Should do something about this too. So they only place it down when there's not enough. Connect it. Okay, so red. When red is less. Does this make sense? So, so if you put left, if there's less... Less than 600, okay. So these will turn off, it would use up... This gets into the same issue where the science pack gets stuck in the network. I mean, gets stuck in these chests without... And this isn't fast enough to put it down, so... Mm. Multiple problems. Let me drink some tea. Okay, if there's a bunch of stuff stuck in here...
hmm. <laughs> God. Yeah, uh, forget it. It was working before. So... Uh, we'll just leave it for now. This is mo mostly just to slow down the amount of uh, science pack we have. Okay, uh, now let's check on... 39, okay, that's okay. Now, since we're sh running short on iron on this side, I would like to actually make use of um, the Jivalite ore that we've been, that we made our train for. Okay, so. I'm trying to figure out what's the difference between these two. I guess you get uh, whatever that turquoise thing is when you sort them. This uh, requires a catalyst, which is not easy. Okay, why don't we try sorting this thing then? Uh, yeah, we have a pretty decent amount. Okay. So I'll just take... Uh... Uh, I don't have regular starters, huh? All right, so let's get a splitter here. We're only going to use one belt. I'm gonna need more belts. Yep. So we're gonna expand this area here. Actually, I do that now. At least for the inner belt here. Uh, yeah, why don't we get it lined up with that thing? I mean, though, that doesn't really matter, but. Might be nice, right? Uh, I need to measure. Although, you know, maybe it doesn't matter that much anymore now that we have those crazy inserters. is here yeah yeah you're really short on iron now it just gets used up before it goes to the whole thing so it'd be nice to have a kind of like another injection point here I gotta admit though, I kinda expected that I would lose my mind playing this with these mods <laughs> with the Circle Bell Factory, and you know, it's doing a pretty good job of it. Just kinda going back and forth in circles all the time, and everything runs together, and like the Angel Ore uh, mod especially, it really complements 
uh, <laughs> the difficulty of um, making circle belt factories because it basically there's a lot, lot of like feedback loops things like stone can be converted into ores and ores turn into water and the water gets stuck and ugh. but it's also kind of fun more problems equals more fun right uh okay need a crusher Ugh, i still don't know where anything is okay we could get a or crusher mark three hmm You know, we could make aluminum from our slurry area. If I was smarter, I would probably have made the belts closer together so I don't have to run around as much, but at the same time, look at all this crap here. Oh. <laughs> Where are we going to fit that if we didn't have that space? So, I don't know. Maybe I did the right thing. Okay, we got a lot of cool stuff here. And eventually, I'm guessing it's going to turn into something. Okay, do I need anything special for aluminum plates? Probably. Cla uh, tin plate, aluminum plate. Alumina. Oh, sodium hydroxide. Is that is it that thing? Yes, it is. And it's already full, so well, almost full. All right, so we should definitely make this. So hmm. <laughs> It's not going to be easy. Uh, hmm. Why are you so slow and you so fast? You should be all the way around. There we go. Okay, now this thing is screwed because... We don't have iron ore coming out of it anymore. Out, out of these things anymore. It's going to be a huge problem. We do have some in storage, though. Do I have iron ore on this thing? Is that iron ore? <laughs> I, I don't I, hell if I know. I think that's iron ore. Uh, yeah, you know, see what I mean about losing your mind here? Um, I honestly don't know where that's coming from. One of these things, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, there are iron ores coming on off the um, belt, so I'm not going to complain about that. These things use the same thing. Oh, that's not... No, that's not that bad then. I'll just move it over. Okay, let's get rid of this. Be nice to have the ex extra space anyway. <laughs> Be nice to get a little bit, you know, a little bit cleaner here. It's, it's never gonna get super clean. But... Uh... Right. Leave a little bit of space. 
Sure. No. That's my one tile. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to grab off the corner though. Maybe move it one more up. Yeah, that's not that bad. Okay. Not that bad. Okay, now we need to connect the ferric chloride. Don't need this anymore. Uh, where is this going? Kind of like that. And yep, I've uh, given up on making the factory look neat, but it's basically how it goes. I mean, I mean, it's not really even possible even with the Bob's mods. I don't think. Someone, someone must have done it then. Ah, crap. Uh, yeah, sure. Ah, uh, no. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. All right, that's... Good enough. Okay, just gotta hook that up now. Okay, that thing is going. Okay, so... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, this is... Oh yeah, I mixed the pipes up, so that's why it's not displaying anything. Alright. Oh yeah, I can't... Mm. These don't even have any outputs, that's terrible. Okay, let's fix this. I mean, Jerry Wig, a haphazard solution. Man, these these inserters pretty handy. Can go anywhere from anywhere. Okay, now hmm. one, two, three. I have a crazy idea which might work. Just make it, I think. So let's get the. Aluminum more. Are they in uh, alphabetical order? I don't know. Alright, so let's change this. Uh, one, two, three. No, two, like that. Like that. 
Whoa. <laughs> it almost killed me there. But I was wrong. Let's see. Oh. Uh, no. Wrong one. Wow, this game can go really, really far. <laughs> Ooh, if there was collision physics in this, man. That would be, um, hard. Game would be unplayable, probably. Alright, so, you know. I'm not going for looks here, so... Now we need to make Illumina. Illumina. Okay, that's simple enough. Need better... Better uh, furnaces. All right, I really want to get rid of you, so... Do I need water for this? I need coal, that's the issue. Okay. Alright, screw it. <laughs> I just drag everything down. It's kind of like, you know, you think you want to make something look nice and neat, even though you know that's not going to happen. It's just like, uh, I don't know, you just have second thoughts about everything you're building. <laughs> so, alright. It's too late, look at this. Is anybody gonna make, be able to make sense of this? I don't think so. Even I don't, I don't know what's going on and I built it. Uh, okay, so we'll have a... We're gonna just have a aluminum production, you know? Have it go right on the belt. Oh. Huh. I could actually merge these. I should do that. Imagine we need a whole lot, right? Oh wait, wrong side. Can we do this? Oh man, this is so handy. This offset it. Don't even have to worry about it. Should maybe get a better X. Maybe I can get a cobalt one later. All right. I do not need... I shouldn't need, uh... Water for this, right? Let's 
Still has that input thing. Okay, we'll go easy on it at first. <laughs> Man, you can do anything with this thing. Uh, okay. There you go. Oh, no, 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 I don't want those alumina. I want plates. Uh, oh, I forgot a step. So, let's do this look for the plates. There's carbon, okay. Made an electrolysis thing, huh? Electrolyzer. Research is taking forever. I'm guessing it's because of blue circuits or lack of blue science. Inventory is filling up pretty quickly now. I'm just gonna cram everything together because I can. Uh, just have. Just have a nice little. Compact area here. So I'm always going to use the uh, super slow ones because you don't want to overproduce in circle belt factories. So. Make the angle as, you know, as low as possible. And this will go... This is going to be a nightmare to configure, <laughs> configure later on, but... Okay, let's see. That should work. Uh, where am I... My power, power not in here. All right, we have some aluminum plates. And we are using that, slowly using that thing. Is good. Okay. <sighs> we got a five second tea break. Um, Okay, you have aluminum. Hopefully that won't saturate the belt right away. It's not buffered yet, so. So, actually. <laughs> the whole reason why I made aluminum was to get this thing, no, this thing. Okay, uh, yeah. All the way up there in top left. Okay. Ore Crusher Mark 3. 
Oh, I want to man have an ore sorting facility. Ore sorting facility. Crap PC 1.5. 3, 2, 125. Yeah, these are just better. They're more in energy efficient as well. Hmm. That's the thing, you know? Like, uh, a lot of people say, well, the energy efficiency is better for the higher tier stuff, but. That's kind of assuming that you're um, producing all the time, right? At like 100% capacity all the time. And yeah, you know, you could say, well, okay, that's, uh, it's true, you know, that's, um, it is more energy efficient, but, uh, you know, if you're in this factory, most of the time, what you're, it's like this, it's not even moving. You know, so if you're not even using it, then is it more efficient? Well, it is more efficient, but I don't know. You know, it just depends on, uh, like the productivity over time. And this, uh, slows it down quite a bit. So actually let's check on our power pollution level. See, like <laughs> now that I switched over most of my energy to solar, we have pretty much no pollution. And wow, five less than five megawatts. Huh. Well, granted, we're not really doing much now, so that's probably my phone. Okay, let's get this going though. Givalite, okay, or crusher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it on the outside this time. Oh wait, no, this is the old one. Want the fancy pants on? Ah, okay. So you can process the geodes here. I don't. I don't want to deal with that. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, so then you get the rocks uh, byproduct. One, two, three. I need like chunks. How do you make chunks? Oh my god. Oh, there's hydro refining. Crap. So if you don't do this thing, it's pretty much the same. Uh, we're just gonna do the simple for now. Wow, man. Okay, this will go in here. Uh, yeah, slow one actually. Inserter. This will take out the stones. Now what I want to do with the stone? We could. Okay, so this is something I've been thinking about. Uh, possibly making a third um, belt just for junk. And it doesn't have to go around all the time, but it might be nice to have just the option. Um, so I'm just gonna do it because 
curious. It'll be a regular bone, I guess. Hey, steel, free stuff. Free inserter. I don't know what that was. Uh, okay, so here. We have these uh, long underground belts now, which, ah, it doesn't reach. I could make it reach if I move that thing. Resin, okay. Ooh, someone's vacuuming upstairs. I hope it hope we're not catching too much of that. Uh okay, so Right, we'll just go around. It doesn't really matter that much. You can always fix it later, and some areas don't really need it, you know? So. Be nice if these are even. <laughs> ah, this is the one moment where things look nice. Don't look around it though. It's just here. All right, we have these. Uh, out. This is the outdated buffer that we don't need anymore. So I have uh, these. Let's see, oh, it's kind of far actually. Oh, because you ran out of coal. Oh, because these are too. F <laughs> Oi. There you go. <laughs> That's how you solve the problem, right? Okay, so. Uh, I need to get the waste. I should just make another one. Stretch the uh, sulfuric acid up. Okay. I'm gonna make a storage tank here. Oh, I already had one. Just to see how much we have. This is a chemical plant, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Say... Yeah, see, I have a bunch of this stuff here, too. 
So it'd be nice to have a disposal line. Which gets rid of uh our stone. Possibly even slag if we need it. So you're gonna go on the outside. You as well. I'm gonna hold off on this for now. It was no, oh, it was wrong anyway. You also go on the outside. All right, and this hmm, can just funnel it into there. Luckily, I think I have a lot of them. Yep. And then this thing can go back into here. Ooh, I'm gonna do this. Um, <laughs> Everything's getting in the way of each other. <laughs> Since we're here, we should might we might as well get a slag one going as well. So be the cleanup area. Hmm, what are you gonna do about this these bricks? Kind of a lot of them. Alright, so this uh okay. I'm gonna use the regular pipes because oh no no I shouldn't I think I shouldn't mix them on the ground I'm a little worried that it might bug out. Uh, there you go. some reason you can have all this I need to get rid of stuff why do I have this let's get rid of all the stuff this uh, all the extra ores huh, I should 
use that for something. Uh, I'll keep a little bit of synthetic wood in case I need to build some circuits. All right. I'm going to forget that. But... Okay, now we have a disposal facility, which is nice. Now this is set the tin plate. Oh. Lead plate, okay. All right, we need to start adjusting our numbers now. Uh, okay, so I can't see what's down there. So we have 1.2k um, lead in the network. And then 2.2k pin. So we should adjust this to 2,500. Okay, was it that far off the mark? Uh, okay, 1500. So get that started again. Where is the slag from this thing going? Oh, goes there, can't get here, that's fine, okay. Uh, okay, finally, <laughs> after all that, I do like this third line idea, though. Eventually, it'll loop. Um, we don't have to do it right now, but we'll have it lo looping along the factory. Oh, I should have added... Oh, no, it's fine. I can just run the thing here. Alright, you get started. All right, you get, you get, you, <laughs> you get, start. God, it's so slow. It is my fault, though. Oh, so I can put, Have it put on the inner. Inner belt would be slag. Outer belt would be thing. And then okay. Then we have iron and copper. Now the thing is, now that everything is tied to a logistic network, it doesn't matter where we produce it. So we just throw in more copper. Although I do have to limit this. Um, crap, I, I need to... I should really make... take notes. <laughs> Write all of this down. I mean, if this was a real job, I probably would be doing that. But... Uh, where did I have it set as? Okay. 4K, less than 4K, all right. We'll use uh, iron as the benchmark, because it's gonna make more of that. Yeah, you can't get too attached to um, being too precise in this kind of thing. 
4K. I don't think it's even connected to the Logistate Network. Huh. Ah, it's so hard to find things. Let's get some smelting going. What if I just do it without sorting it? What happens? Will it get stuck? I don't know, let's see. What? Why did it stop? my robot thing go? Oh, it's not making it. This is off. I think. I can't see. Yeah, it's, well, it's off now, obviously. Yeah, this is not connected. have exactly 4,000 iron okay. So you could be a little higher because you're kind of less than 5,000, okay. You're gonna go work since it's just copper and iron all right I'm gonna let it run for a while see what it does uh, I do need to take a break here though but uh, I'll be back in a little while uh, yeah if you've been watching this thank you very much um, and I hope to see you soon okay bye bye